How's it going guys? We are back in another video here and this video is going to be huge info on cross matchmaking and a few other uh, bugs that EA uh, is going to be fixing. All right, so hope you guys do enjoy this video. Make sure you do leave a like, subscribe if you have not already to the channel and follow me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Henrique and let's get it going. All right, so here we go. So finally, I mean, people have been wondering for the longest time, when is it coming? When is crossplay? EA advertise this. Where is it? You know, I've been playing the game, I'm looking for this, and honestly, we need it. Because there's sometimes where I search for a game of Rivals and I can't find an opponent, and that's terrifying. So, hopefully this helps the game population out. Obviously, how it's going to work, I think you guys need to all remember this as well. It's only going to work like this. Only Xbox Series X slash S can match with PS5. PS4 can only match with Xbox One players, okay? PS4 cannot match with PS5, Xbox One cannot match with Xbox Series X, okay? I think a lot of people might not know that, so that's why I really wanted to let you guys know that 100%, because some people might think that you can match with anyone, and you and also you cannot invite anybody, okay? The only way that you could technically, technically, play with a friend on another console is if you match with each other in a drop-in game, and that's very hard due to the fact that with the increased pool... Maybe if you're on old gen, it's more possible, but on new gen, I'm sure it'll be a lot harder. Like, if you're trying to get, like, an Xbox Series X and PS5 player on your same team, you gotta search at the same time, pretty much, in a, in a drop-in, and hopefully you end up on the same team as that player. That's the only way you can play with them. Other than that, it's gonna be pretty hard. You can only match against them. All right, let's get into the actual patch notes here and uh, the actual screenshot here that EA has provided us with. So, I woke up... Uh, <laughs> 12 o'clock today, uh, and uh, yeah, I missed this a little bit. Cross-platform matchmaking is coming soon to NHL 23, starting with a new patch tomorrow, and rolling out across all high world of chum mode over the next two weeks. All right, so here we go. Here is the actual schedule for it. You know, a lot of people are making fun of, that, fun of it, and I'm not going to lie, it's pretty funny. It says phase, uh, phase O or zero. I, I'm assuming that's a... a, a I think it's an O, right? I don't know. I guess zero. I guess because they're all numbers, but I, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, they're all X's across. I don't know why. I guess because the patch is probably tomorrow, so that's probably what they're they're saying, right? The patch implements the, the opportunity for crossplay, but they're not hitting the go live button on it yet. All right, so here's how it works. Phase one is going to be one's eliminator and hut rush, okay? So basically, once uh, November 17th hits, if you search a one's eliminator game, you can match against other consoles like PS5 if you're on Xbox Series X. Or if you're on Xbox One, you can match against PS4. Hot Rush, same thing. So uh, I'll be playing some Hot Rush. I want to test that out and see how, how active Hot Rush is, if it's bumping or not. But yeah, no, that could be very interesting to see uh, how that plays out. But that'll be very, very nice uh, to, to be in the game for sure. And then, uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see how, how it goes. Uh, phase two, though, November 21st. I mean, we're getting close to, to American Thanksgiving at this point. Uh, November 21st, one's eliminator. We all still know is active. Hot Rush. And then 6v6 CSHL. So that's a pretty big one. That's a lot of, a lot of people play that. So uh, that'll, that'll, be, that'll be a good one. Uh, we'll, we'll see how that goes. I mean, sixes. I mean, it, it could be a little bit scary, but we'll see. I'm hoping it's not. I'm hoping it's hoping there's no issues. I hope it runs smoothly. I mean, that's that's got to be the goal, right? I mean, it's got to be the goal at least. All right, so uh, that's that. Uh, we also have 6v6 drop-in. Uh, also not available, though. It's funny. So, okay, so just 6v6. So you have 3v3 drop-in available, but not 6v6. Y'all. I guess they're trying to probably test and see, you know, each day how things are running, if, if things are causing you know, bugs and glitches. They probably want to be really, like, patient and careful with it, right? Because if they, if they, I guess if they hit live at the same time for everything and then suddenly there was massive issues, they really wouldn't probably know what's causing the issues. At least if you're doing it steadily. So if, if let's say, one eliminator and Hot Rush and suddenly Rush games don't work, they don't count, at least now they know that Hot Rush is being caused by, like, you know what I mean? Like, there's, there's reasons for things, probably. All right, so then phase three, November 23rd, you have one eliminator, uh, Hot Rush, 66 ESHL, we have 3v3 drop-in, 6v6 ESHL, Hut Champs, 3v3 ESHL, and finally, 3's Eliminator. So, Phase 3 is the big one. Phase 3, pretty much, you get everything. Phase 3 is essentially the whole game. Well, not whole game, I should say. Uh, World of Shell and Hut, essentially, uh, you know, are, are pretty much cross, all right? So, that'll be uh, very nice and very exciting to start playing that and getting involved in that. But, 
Yeah, I mean, that's that's a big one. November 23rd, definitely circle that day, I would say. Then we got no, we got November 28th, Phase 8, the final phase of cross-match making for this year. Uh, you have Hot Rivals getting the check mark here, and that's it. That's the last one that's not checked. Hot Rivals will be cross-match making as well, so that'll hopefully... Hopefully balance Rivals out a little bit more. I feel like Rivals a little bit too much right now. I match just the same, you know, gods every single game. It's just really not that fun. So I'm looking forward to matching different players and, and hopefully just enjoying the game more this year, honestly. So we'll see how that goes. But let's actually look at the other patch shows. There are some other things they actually are going to, to work on. So there they go. They're talking about cross matchmaking, how they're going to be added. And long awaited. Yes, I mean, it is long awaited. It's almost December, but um, giving you the ability to do that. Uh, your PS5, you can match up against your Xbox Series X slash friends, friends and vice versa. Cross platform and making will become available to some modes. There you go. And then there's the schedule, which we saw. Uh, yep, so on his PS4 and Xbox One can play it. Yep, we just saw that. And then here's this kind of like another, another picture. If you guys don't really quite uh, understand how it works, I mean, PS4 can play with each other, Xbox One can play with each other, uh, Series X. Uh, can play with PS5 only against, though. Um, and Xbox Series X can only play against PS5. Um, but yeah, that, that's pretty much it, alright? Uh, and then there you go. The patch notes, right? So, presentation. Uh, they added team-branded on-ice projections for all NHL arenas for usage during intro sequences. So, that's pretty nice. Every team will have an intro. I think that's pretty nice. I'm a fan of that, so... Uh, you know, thumbs up for me. No, no reason to hate on that. That's cool. Uh, with the World of Chow, they added cross-platform matchmaking. I mean, there you go. And Hut, uh, they actually fixed Hut Chance matchmaking, which is good because let's be real, Hut Chance matchmaking was a disaster, and I'm not sure if people really got turned off by that or not. Which I'm sure they honestly, somebody, some people might have because I mean, that's really sad, honestly, that like people were just running into just people that are way better than them or just way worse than them because realistically. Hot champ should be the best of the best, and you should be matching against, you know, good players, you know, around your rank. Like, if you're 10 and 0, you should be matching other people that are, you know, 9 and 2, 10 and 0, right? 8 and 2. You should be matching people that are, you know, 1 and 5. And that's the case with how champs was. So, if you guys, you know, didn't realize that with it, about champs, champs is really bugged for a while, and now it looks to be fixed. And they also had a cross cross platform matchmaking. And then franchise mode. They fixed an issue where draft picks were not transferring after a successful offer sheet. So there you go. That's good. They fixed franchise mode a little bit. I heard there's a lot of issues with franchise mode. So very happy to see that they actually fixed something there with franchise mode. I know a lot of you guys do play franchise mode. I want to do a series probably at some point as well. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. All right. That is pretty much it for the patch tomorrow. I'm very excited for it. Uh, you know, we're, we're finally getting there. You know, it's going to actually help uh, the overall health of the, health, health of the game long term as well. So very happy to see that. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure you leave a like, subscribe if you're new here, follow me on Twitch, Henrique, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Henrique Three Es, and join Discord. Talk to me, follow, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next video.